about what inspires you to be fearless in all that you do each day? So I'm a scientist, so I'm a very curious person. So you could say I'm fearless in my curiosity, uh, in the sense that I don't, I'm not afraid to ask lots of questions, and I'm not afraid of the answers. So I try to understand the universe, which is a pretty big place, and it has lots of problems within it, and I actually try to understand those to the extent that I can. So tell me about somebody in your life who is a fearless change maker, who has really inspired you, and tell me why they've influenced you. Somebody in my life? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that there was somebody particular in my life that has actually inspired me, but there have been people in the past who lived in the past who have inspired me. As I've, Being a scientist, I've always been inspired by Newton. I've been inspired by Einstein. Newton was the not, wasn't the nicest person around, but he was just as smart as they come. And I was always amazed by how somebody could think of so many things. I was always amazed by Plato. Um, I, from all the ancient philosophers, I find him absolutely amazing. And his knowledge of almost everything, you know, has inspired me. Uh, I will never be able to be even 1% of Plato, but it doesn't stop me from trying. So, you know, I'm going to do my best to try to achieve that kind of thing. So, yeah, these people have, have really inspired me uh, over the years. I, I, I cannot really point to a particular person in my life that I found uh, particularly inspiring. So what would you tell a younger version of yourself, students or, you know, your grandkids, what would you tell them to, to know about fear and to know about taking a risk and sometimes failing and how they can learn from it? I would tell them, first of all, to ask lots of questions and to actually never be afraid of the answer. I mean, knowledge and curiosity are the absolutely best remedy for fear. I mean, you're afraid mostly when you don't know something. You know, if you don't know something about other people, if you don't know something about your immediate environment, if you don't know something about your country or the universe, for that matter, those are the things that make you most afraid. The more you know about them, the less you are afraid. And so really ask all the questions. Be curious about everything around you. And you are almost certainly, you will be, well, not fearless. We're all afraid of something. But you will be much less afraid than you would be otherwise. So we're here at TEDx. Atlantic and we're gathering all these thought leaders and these innovators. Tell me why it's important for all of these people to come together. This is an extraordinarily diverse crowd. I mean, this is, I think, what, what maybe distinguishes this the most from almost any other thing. I mean, you have people here, of course, of the different genders, of different backgrounds, of different ethnicities, but all of them with some ideas, some ideas that can actually improve the human condition in some fashion or at least, you know, make us aware of some problems with our condition. So uh, this is a very, very unusual, I mean, most conferences, they are devoted to a particular topic, you know, and so on. Here you can see thing, people talking about everything from something that happened yesterday to something that, you know, will change our life a hundred years from now. From fears that we have today to fears that we had a hundred years ago and so on. So this it really makes this conference quite unique. My name is Dr. Mario Livio. I am an astrophysicist and I work with the Hubble Space Telescope and will work with the James Webb Space Telescope. I am a scientist and I am fearless because I am curious.